Hey, hey, everyone. It's Camry with the Rodeo Kids podcast, and we are excited to welcome you back. We did take a couple weeks off while we were in Vegas because it was wild and crazy and fun and full of so much energy and activity while we were there. And we loved almost every minute of it. If you've been to Vegas, it's kind of hard to love every minute out of it. But we are recovering and we are so excited today to share with you a little bit about our booth for those who weren't able to make it and also to share our vision for the future. And I want to share with you before we even start to prepare you that I need your help. We need your help at Rodeo Kids because we have to reach the right people to make this happen. And so I'm hoping by sharing this vision uh, moving forward and this idea with the public and putting it out there in the world that it'll come to fruition. But if we just keep these things secret and quiet and to ourselves, they can't come to fruition because it never gets released. So we're going to release it into the world. We're going to put it in um, in your hands to help us make it come true. So uh, stay tuned because we have an exciting podcast coming up for you. Welcome to the RodeoKids.com podcast, where we empower youth to be their best selves through the values and traditions of the rodeo and Western lifestyle. Can you believe it is almost Christmas? Like, it is crazy to think that we just got home from the 2023 NFR Vegas and uh, NFR in Vegas, and it's right now December 21st, 2023, and Christmas is only a few days away. Like, wow, what a year it has been and it has gone by so fast. And um, I just want to share a little bit about what we've had going on at Rodeo Kids and what we have moving forward. And so this year, we incorporated the Rodeo Kids leadership team and um, continued the ambassador team, but in a little bit different light. And it was really cool. Like any new program, any virtual program with youth across the country who are in different time zones and different locations with different schedules and different levels of involvement with their school sports and rodeo and families and everything is definitely difficult and comes with its own challenges. But I do believe that as we round up the 2023 year that these kids learned so much, we got to work together, they brought so much to the table and they helped me learn so much as I move forward in deciding how we continue uh, to make an impact on not just a small group of youth, but a big group of youth in the Western industry and keep them moving towards their rodeo goals and helping provide not just the support financially um, to attend the clinics, camps, and lessons through the scholarships, but to help them develop their leadership, to help them build their faith and their relationship with God and know that it's cool to be a cowboy Christian or a Christian cowboy or cowgirl and um, just building that community and getting maybe even returning a little bit back to the community roots that sometimes gets easy to stray away from as our level of competition and the availability for worldly prizes increases for kids. I think sometimes we lose the community and the rodeo family focus that we all love so much. Um, So it was really fun this year to bring some of that back in and to put focus on, you know, just being kind humans and doing things for each other and doing things for other people. And um, it was just so fun to see these kids grow throughout the year. So that has definitely been a success. We will end the 2024 year um, here at the end of December, December 31st, and then we will introduce um, a new format that's going to be similar but still a little bit different uh, probably in March again. Uh, We really like the March format. It's an intense program that keeps the kids really involved and after seven, eight months, like it's a lot. And so um, we're going to call it a wrap and we are excited. My husband and I are introducing a new life into the world in March. So we're taking a step back so that we can also prepare for that. So that'll be really fun. And um, in the meantime, just let God direct which direction we are headed with the Rodeo Kids Ambassador team.
exciting things that have been happening at Rodeo Kids. This year, we will, were able to award um, over $30,000 in Rodeo Kids scholarships, and that was awesome. In Vegas alone, we got to give away over 34 scholarships for kids to attend clinics of their choice. Rodeo Bible Camps of America, uh, we had the Wolf and Sons performance. They gave away a couple of certificates for their strength and training program. And we also had Rural Health Education, who gave away a couple of certificates for their health and nutrition programs, because we all know what we eat makes a huge difference. And if you aren't familiar with Wolf and Sons or Rural Health Education and your kids are trying to get to the next level where you are as an adult, um, you got to check them out. We've done podcasts with them in the past, and those folks are so knowledgeable in both those organizations, and they have what it takes to be able to help you wherever you're at right now get to the next level by what you eat and what you do with your body makes such a huge difference. We also had two certificates to Rodeo University and we had Rodeo University's Stan Branco come to the booth and sign autographs and he got to give away a steer wrestling scholarship to one of their Rodeo University steer wrestling clinics and it was just so cool. Chelsea was there. She um, gave away one of the breakaway clinics and Mike and Sherry Lynn were super generous this year. They gave away two uh, vouchers to clinics of theirs, as well as two vouchers for qualifiers. So these kids that were in the booth having a good time, roping, stick horse racing, tying the goatee, doing all the things, um, they had a chance to win some pretty awesome scholarships. The Epic Animal gave away some really cool prizes, as well as rodeo kids, and it was just it was really cool. So that's been super fun. Um, we look forward to continuing being able to give away those scholarships for kids to go to educational opportunities like clinics, camps, lessons, uh, seminars, and also we can use those scholarships to purchase things for them. We don't do memberships or entry fees or fuel cards or anything like that at this point in time, but we just want these kids to keep learning. And I have to big time brag on the Rodeo Bible Camps of America for stepping up. Talk about an amazing organization um, that is all across the country that allows kids to most importantly connect with God through their horses and through rodeo while having so much fun and learning. And it's just amazing what they have to offer. And so we were able to give away um, we have half of their scholarships. They gave two to each of the clinics across the country, and there are 13 of them. So they alone donated 26 scholarships, and there are still some available. So if you are interested in uh, going to a rodeo Bible camp or sending your child to a rodeo Bible camp of America, you can still go on to rodeokids.com. Under the scholarships tab, click on Rodeo Bible Camps of America and you can sign up for the Rodeo Bible Camp that's closest to you and have your chance to win a scholarship. We are going to do a live drawing to each of those um, camps here on Christmas Day. So your name might be announced. You just have to go over to rodeokids.com, click on the scholarships tab, find Rodeo Bible Camps and fill out that form and you are in the drawing for a chance to win a scholarship to one of those camps. So that's really cool. I have been a clinician at the Flat Tops Rodeo Bible Camp in Rifle, Colorado the past couple of years and the transformation that you see in youth and adults is it I mean it'll literally bring you to your knees and just you just want to praise God for how good he is and how pure he is and how much good he can do for these kids and he like the chains just break off and there are chains on our youth right now that we just have it's so hard to even fathom what they're going through because so much of it is so new the technology the constant comparison the scrolling the highlight reels you guys have heard it all um it's still so new. I mean, we've always had drama. There's always hormones. There's there's always been that. But the pressure of the world is more than ever. The weight of the world, the opportunities of the world uh, is just is so much higher than what it's ever been. And these kids are feeling it. Um, so getting them in a rodeo Bible camp or a clinic or something that is faith centered, the rodeo kids ambassador team, if you're looking for a year long program, that is the kind of stuff that is going to help give those kids the support um, 
and the community that they need to really be able to continue to flourish in this industry and in life because uh, it's tough right now. So thank you to Rodeo Bible Camps of America and Flat Tops um, Cowboy Church and the Flat Tops Rodeo Bible Camp for everything that they've done and uh, just creating that, like the opportunities that we've seen in the way that God has worked in our lives recently has just been amazing. I mean, he's always working, but he's really, really showed up in ways that we never imagined recently. To give you an example of that. So my mom and I left for Vegas a day earlier than we planned and we ended up in some weather. And so we had to take the longer route. We are 10 miles south of Interstate 80 in Iowa. And so we usually just jump on 80 all the way to Salt Lake City and then go to 15 and we're in Vegas 22, 24 hours later. And this year we started out on 80 and got to Cheyenne and the winds were crazy and there were storms all across Colorado. And so we decided to head south out of Cheyenne and went to Albuquerque and across that way. And so our trip took longer than what we anticipated. And being six months pregnant and a booth bigger than what we've ever had before, I really wasn't sure what to expect. And we had ordered, it was cheaper for me to buy the turf carpet. If you've seen any of our videos on Rodeo Kids or pictures on our social media on Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, you'll see that we have our arena has like that green fake turf in it. And I had bought some and the guy had asked me, you know, well, do you want us to cut the rolls down? And I said, well, you're going to have a six month pregnant lady and a 68 year old woman that are going to come pick it up and we need to be able to transport it. So just cut it according to what you think we'll be able to handle. Well, I appreciate this gentleman's um, belief in our abilities to carry these rolls of carpet that are 30 foot long um, and 12 foot wide. But I think we maybe could have gotten it done. But luckily we got to Vegas and we got our carpet and we got to the venue at um, the Expo at World Market Centers for the Vegas Tethys. And there were some very kind gentlemen there that helped us not just unload the carpet, but unload the entire trailer. Like that was such a God thing that we showed up. Not only was it gentlemen, the original man that we started talking to, not only was he just some Joe Schmo off the street or some other parent that we've never met that had nothing to do, but he... It lives in Texas now. He's from Iowa. He was judging the rodeo. And my parents have known him and his family for a long time. His daughter was a pony pro in the past. And so it was just so cool. And it was just another proof that the rodeo community is so small. And you never know when you're going to run into somebody you've known for 20, 30, 40 years, you know, depending on your age. But it, it's small and it was awesome. So Corey Constable and your family, thank you so much. Um, a couple other gentlemen jumped in and helped us and we just had fun doing it and we got it all done. And there's no way that that could have happened unless God had his hand in it. And so that was, it was just fantastic. And it would have taken us a, a full day, day and a half to unload. We got done in two and a half hours. So uh, manpower, we're all about it. Thank you so much for that. And I could continue to go on and on about the way that God had his hand in this and helped this come to fruition, but just by sharing the scholarships and that story and, and what we've accomplished with Rodeo Kids so far this year, I mean, you can feel that God is here and that's what we're looking for in life and that's what we want to share with these kids. And so now I want to introduce to you what we would like to do moving forward. And again, this is an idea that's going to take your help. It's going to take planting a lot of seeds with the right people to make it happen. Um, it's a, a vision for next year that in Vegas that God gave me. Um, he actually gave it to me before this year, but I'm confident now that he just needed to show me that I could do it. He, I needed to be in a place I could get my feet wet to start out. And so we got that and I'm so thankful and I'm so thankful for Mike and Sherilyn for letting us do that. And now we get to, now we get to go bigger. Now we get to take the the big vision and figure out how to make that happen. And so this is it. Here we go. So my idea for next year is to take the Rodeo Kids booth that had the jackpots where we use the 7K roping dummies, which are awesome and will be available on the website by the end of today. Uh, but we had, so the air shoot where kids could do like little 
ground team rope and dummy jackpots. We could take the horns off and have breakaway jackpots. We had goatee goat time matches. We had some seriously intense stick horse races. Uh, but it was all in arena that we got to have this stuff in and the kids got to come in and have fun and win a little bit of money. We did $5 scholarship ropens and all that cool stuff. Um, and then we had the store. Then we had people like Chelsea uh, from Rodeo University step in and Rodeo Bible Camps and they were all there. But it just wasn't quite big enough. And I've I've gone back and forth on, if you've listened to our podcast on being in Vegas with kids and stuff, but here's the deal. The kids are going to be in Vegas and God needs to be in Vegas. And we have rodeo kids. And so we need to provide a safe space for them to be there. And not only that, but I believe that our industry right now, um, when we look at what's available for youth in Vegas, there's just not much there. One, it's not really a city for kids. Um, but if they're going to be there, why not create a place that is safe for them? And not only safe, but fun and where they can learn how do you move forward in rodeo? How do you move forward into, you know, a lot of you listening to this are in the junior ranks and you've, you've got all these opportunities in front of you, but how do you prepare to become a professional rodeo athlete? What's available? For those of you who listen to this, who are in really rural, remote areas and you're just getting started and you're like, I don't even know what to do to help my kids. You know, maybe you aren't a rodeo parent. 66% of families that we surveyed um, a while back were first generation cowboys and cowgirls. So there's a lot of kids and families out there who are just getting started and you might not know what to do. You might love rodeo. You might be out in Vegas hanging out and having fun and your kids are back home still going to school, but you're like, man, I would really like to learn more on how to help them and what's available out there. So that's where we come in and we create a Rodeo Kids Zone, the convention center that the PRCA can get behind because the PRCA um, is in charge of the convention center, which is the biggest trade show out there. And that's where they have the Junior World Finals. Um, So there's lots of people there. It's chaos every day in craziness. If you've been there, you know. If not, you've probably heard of it. Um, But I just see this big area where we get to have the arena, we have a rodeo kids store where we have all the things that kids need to get started or as much as we can collect for products so that you can find your rodeo kids equipment um, all in one place in Vegas or somewhat in one place in Vegas and then have a coach's corner where those who are interested in college rodeo can meet up with rodeo coaches across the country. We'll have a map there because did you know there's like 130 plus colleges across the country that offer college rodeo? A lot of people don't know that. And so we get stuck on the ones that are big and have a nice advertising campaign or who have been around for a long time or huge programs. But there's a lot of colleges out there that offer some really amazing things for your kids. There might even be one closer to you than what you realize um, or that has a better program than what you realize just because you haven't heard of it yet because rodeo teams generally don't have a huge marketing budget. Invite college rodeo coaches to come in and meet the kids and talk about their programs and you can learn about that and then have an area where it's a clinic's corner or a clinician's corner, something along those lines where you can see the different clinics and camps. You know, we'd have our Rodeo Bible Camps of America there. Um, You can see all of those opportunities to find a clinic near you to advance your skills because we got to have the education before the competition. You know, if we're not, it's important to to get your feet wet and to learn, but to get to the next level, we've got to continue learning from those who know more than us. And clinics and lessons and all of that are are so important. And there's so many amazing ones out there that aren't getting fully utilized like they could. And so we really like to push the education aspect of it and the fundamentals in learning that kind of stuff. Learning from those who have already learned. That's one of the best ways to move forward in life. And so having your clinician's corner where you can connect with those people and find clinics and camps near you. And also having an area where the PRCA can come in and have a representative and your kids or adults can talk to a member of the PRCA or a representative from the PRCA about how do we get started? What do we need to do? What do we need to know? Here is our cheat sheet and ask those questions so that you can learn how to become a professional rodeo cowboy 
and you can see what steps you need to take. And I just I think that that is a great opportunity for the PRCA to add that to their convention center. I think it's necessary uh, or to their Cowboy Christmas. I think it's necessary to have a place that uh, gets these kids headed in the right direction and answers a lot of the questions that right now people have to go find for themselves all the time. And it can be really difficult and tricky to do that. Um, and I, I just, I really think that it's time. I think that that's the direction we're moving and why not have an area for the future of rodeo that's designated for them in Vegas to learn, to grow, to connect. Uh, the other thing that was so much fun is it got to meet other kids from across the country while having fun and a low pressure. And there were kids of all levels in the booth. And that's what we want. We want kids of all levels to feel comfortable coming to rodeo kids and saying, Hey, I'm a beginner. Where do I start? Hey, I'm really advanced and I'm looking to step into college rodeo or pro rodeo. What do I need to do next? We want to be able to be the hub for you to find all of that information. And that's the direction that we're headed. So I just wanted to share that vision with all of you who listen to the podcast, who support rodeo kids. So you can kind of see where we're headed. Um, we ask that you pray about that for us and for the just the future of rodeo, not rodeo kids, the company or the nonprofit specifically, but just for the rodeo kids as a whole and the rodeo industry as a whole and the future of it. Just pray for what we have coming and um, for a positive future where we can make a positive difference. And if you read my post recently on Facebook where we can really work on bringing God back to the forefront where we make decisions with him in the lead when it comes to our youth, when it comes to our bodies and our minds and taking care of it and supporting one another, not just saying the prayer at the beginning of the rodeo, but acting in accordance with God's will throughout the entire rodeo, um, which I think we generally do a pretty good job of, but it can also, when you get behind the scenes, rodeo can be a pretty dark place as well. Help so pray for that. And for those who are the decision makers and the leaders and the movers and the shakers in this industry. Um, I, I hope that you can just pray for them to also continue doing things for the right reasons and moving the needle with God in the lead. Um, you've read the Facebook comments, the couch jockeys have been alive. It's like the Kentucky Derby where everybody gets to have an opinion and there's all kinds of exciting stuff going on. And so you've read a lot of the things that, that go on, a lot of the thoughts that people have. And, and of course, there's always more to it than what we realize when we're sitting at home or even when we're sitting in the stands than what it is on the production side of things. But we just just pray for everybody to keep moving the needle forward and for the right reasons, because we are one of the only sports left that does honor God, that does have a set of morals and values that are based on a moral code in the Bible. Um, so we really want to keep that alive. And it, it's tempting when we see all these other sports organizations doing this and doing that. And again, the comparison and the highlight really even for adults and organizations and how we should move forward. But if we keep a little bit of the old school Christian traditions alive, um, while also mixing in some of the, the wonderful new things that are available out there, I think we can continue to be an organization that stands apart in ways that that no, not, no other organization or sport or foundation or um, way of life can can compare to because it is amazing what we have. So just continue to pray for, for that kind of clarity and for God to have his hand on the decisions and and on this industry as a whole, and definitely on our youth as they, they face the challenges. And and hopefully on uh, the Rodeo Kids, our nonprofit organization as well, to to make the impact that, that we're needed to make to help keep these kids moving in the right direction in the future of Rodeo alive and thriving and well. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in today. I just, like I said, wanted to share that with you. Um, when we put that stuff out there, when we breathe and we talk life into it, we get to see it come to fruition. And I know that um, we're praying about it over here and, and God's got just big plans for, for the kids, for Rodeo, for what we get to do. Um, and there are lots of us here, in, like in my shoes and, you know, the guys at Champion Living and Wolf and Sons and the Rodeo Bible Camps and um, Patty Franklin with the Cowboy Roundup and 
there are a lot of us out here uh, doing this kind of work that are, are putting God first and really have the best interest of, or in, are intending to have the best interest of the future of rodeo um, at the forefront. Importantly, your kids and the youth and preparing them to become rodeo athletes at the most elite level where their bodies and brains are protected and so are their pocketbooks you know we're we're looking out for them in so many aspects so I want to encourage you to take advantage of the people in the organizations that are being created to push the needle to make the changes uh, because we're here to support we're here because we love it we're here because we believe in it and we're here because we want to see it continue to grow uh, but we got to have you guys there too you know we got to have the support as well so when you see those people pop up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, please take the time to listen to them and hear what they have to say and to enroll in their programs. Um, you're going to be money ahead in the long run. If we'll spend all the money that we do on entry fees and fuel and all of that, why wouldn't we spend it on a little bit of education, on preparing our bodies, on getting the right food so that we can focus when we get to the rodeo and build those muscles back up and uh, keep our horses strong and all of that. So make sure you're giving them support and know that they know what they're doing and they're doing it for the right reasons. So um, thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for your continued support of Rodeo Kids. Just wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you safe travels, good luck, and God bless while chasing your gold buckle dreams and more importantly, chasing the eternal life that God has for us. Mm -hmm.